Shajay and Rich. Rich is sick, day two. Peyton is sick, day two. In the studio, filling in for Rich. Nick Johnstone. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's have fun today. Kyle and me in here rocking away. Okay, so listen to this. Remember I told you I backed in my car into my son's car? Yeah. Right, so I immediately, it, I, it was, there's some certain problems you have where you have to do it immediately or I think the problem gets worse. So I immediately went, took Jake's car, my son, to uh, Orlando Auto Body and they fixed it within two days. So they texted me yesterday and said, your car's done. Why don't you drop off your other car, which is my car? So I'm like, okay. So I'm driving to Orlando Auto Body to drop off my car and pick up my son's car and I realized... After I drop off Jake's car, I don't have a car. Right. I have nothing to get to work. And I ain't going to Waymo. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, I have a friendship with Pat Hickey at Peoria Ford. So I call Pat Hickey. Ten times in a row, he doesn't pick up. I text him. He doesn't pick up. I tracks. And he's like pretty generous when I need a car. So I felt like I know he would let me have a car if I needed it. So I happen to know somebody that works for Peoria Ford. Not at the top level, not at the middle level, but kind of low level. Sure. And I'm like, hey, man, where's Pat? And he texts her back, goes, oh, he left at one. He's been in meetings all day. I'm like, I need to borrow a car. And he goes, okay. <laughs> he goes, what do you need? And I go, I'll take anything. I just don't have a car. But I just dropped my car over the shop. And he goes, I have this, this, or this. I go, just whatever. It doesn't matter. And then he texts me and he goes, okay, it's all set up for you at the dealership. Come get it. And I'm like, I don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh, okay. I can have my guys drop it off. So my son Dutch had a basketball game yesterday at 7 o'clock at night. At 6.10, Peoria Ford is dropping off a car for me. I get in the car and I go, thank you so much. I was in a hurry and I leave with the car. Take Dutch and my wife. And I realize I've literally stolen a car from Peoria Ford. <laughs> Good to have friends in low places. <laughs> yeah, so... so at 8 o'clock, I call Pat. He picks up. He goes, what's up, buddy? I'm like, oh, hey. And I'm sitting there thinking, how do I present this to him? I go, <laughs> can I borrow a car? I'm driving in his car. <laughs> can I borrow a car? And he goes, yeah, sure. What do you need? I go, anything. I had to take my car to body shop. I go, I, I backed into my son's car and messed it up. And he laughs. And I, he goes, sure. When do you need to buy? I go, a few hours ago. <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? I go, I kind of got it already. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, I stole your car. I totally thought you would be like, like, I have your car. <laughs> you never want to see your car again. <laughs> right. Or it's like you give the exact VIN number and uh, make and model the car they gave you. <laughs> and you're like, like, this is the one that I want. You got it. And he dropped. I, anyway, he was really cool with it. But it, I literally went. I felt so bad, but I needed the car really bad. You know what I mean? So I got it. So that was my day yesterday. So with Rich not being here, Nick, how did that affect you yesterday? Oh, it affected me all kinds of ways, you guys. Uh, you know, it, it's it's one of those things. And, and I'm happy to, to help any way I can, you know. But when we're two people down, it does affect everyone. Especially you. And yeah. so, you know, we had some meetings that ran late yesterday. And before I knew it, it was 2 o'clock. Now, I get here every day about... 415, 430. And so by that time I'm like completely dragging and I realize I have not ate today. Like I've had like little snacks here and there, but I've not had like an actual meal. And then when I get home, I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm I'm going I, the nap is the priority, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I take my nap, I get up. And it's 4.30, and I'm like, well, I can't eat now because it's almost dinner time. So I go and pick up my kids, and my wife is supposed to get, like, in, you know, get back from a business trip last night. Her flight's delayed. And so, like, I like to eat dinner with her. So I feed the kids and then wait for her. Then by the time she gets home, it's after 7 o'clock. Now we have to put the kids to bed. And as she's putting my daughter to bed, I'm like, I can't take it anymore. I just, I have to find something. And so she's getting, you know, the teeth brushed and the and going potty and whatever else. And so I'm like, I sneak to the fridge. I'm like, there's a jar of pickles in here. And when I tell you, I ate an entire jar of pickles. 
in just about 10 minutes. I cannot express how quickly those pickles <laughs> were ingested into my body. Were you eating them frantically? Like yeah, you, were like, like, I didn't want her like you won a food challenge on Survivor? Yeah, I didn't want her to know for yeah. some reason, even though it's like she can definitely <laughs> smell the pickle breath after it's done. But it was just like I got to like two or three left, and I was like, well... Can't just leave these in here, <laughs> and so I just took them down too, and then live the rest of my night. In Dude, regret. you know I do that every day with the big tub of Chobani. Every day, I, I, <laughs> after we talked about it one time, and Kyle, because you have one tub that lasts you like a month, I do a <laughs> right. tub a sitting, and sometimes I'll get three quarters of the tub down, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I almost finished this tub. I'm not going to do it. And I'll put it back. And then 10 minutes later, might as well just finish the tub. And I finished <laughs> like the tub. body yogurt. It is. But I eat frantically like what you're talking about. When I go off the rails, I love to mow down a bag of shredded mozzarella cheese. Oh, my gosh. You know what's so funny is so I don't remember. Where was the last place we were all eating together? Vegas. Vegas. At Grant's wedding at dinner time. <laughs> afterwards, Peyton goes, I've never seen someone eat so quickly. I was like, oh, that's just John Jay. That's how he eats. <laughs> it is this but with experience the mozzarella, though, I open put my hand in the bag and I'm like, oh, <laughs> cookie monster. I'm literally cookie monster in there, man. It's freaking nuts. I love that, like it's it's like you're starving and you can't you can't function. And this is me. My computer real quick. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's how I that's eat mozzarella. You. That's how you eat pickles. <laughs>